Former Real Housewives of Atlanta star Kim Zolciak Bierman and her estranged husband, Croy Bierman, have had another run-in with police coming to their home because of a dispute between the two. And this is all coming out as a, ju a judge has ordered them to go into mediation in regards to their divorce. Welcome back to the Campari Channel, your number one source for pop culture news and music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. So it's been a while since we talked about Kim and, and Croy and, and their ongoing saga of being together, off, back in court, fighting, multiple um, calls to the police. This body cam footage that we're going to show you in this video, I just want to give you a heads up and a trigger warning just based off of if you've ever been in a similar situation. But before we talk about this body cam footage of a recent incident that, that occurred at the Beerman home, we have to talk about the update that came on December 11th in regards to their divorce. So TMZ writes this, it says, Kim Zolciak and Corey Beerman have plenty of issues and now a judge in their divorce, in their divorce case is cracking down ordering them to mediation in an attempt to hammer out a settlement. So according to new legal docs obtained by TMZ, Kim and Croy are being directed to complete a mediation session by January 31st deadline. The judge says that Kim and Croy have numerous unresolved issues and thinks that they could benefit from mediation through a, county, a county's alternative dispute resolution program. Obviously, mediation does not always work or guarantee Kim and Croy will resolve their issues, but the court is at least forcing them to give it a try. It's important to note this mediation order that has been placed for, for these two because when you see this body cam footage, it's hard to think that these two could ever come to any sort of resolution, which is kind of crazy when you think that you've seen these two on reality television and you know that their, their relationship and their dynamic but it says to me that this has gone to a whole other level of toxicity and they need to not be under the same roof. So TMZ got their hands on the body cam footage of this most recent domestic situation. So they said Croy Beerman was in a fit of rage when cops showed up after an explosive fight with Kim Zolciak, where things got so bad one of their kids called 911 to get some help. In new police body cam footage obtained by TMZ from the incident on November 20th, Croy screams at officers his life with Kim is over. Officers try to get Croy to calm down, but he continues on yelling about there being no money, no house. At one point, Croy calls Kim a total narcissist and accuses her of manufacturing their drama. He's enraged, continuing to yell the couple's life is over, and even accusing Kim of effing other men. Are you surprised? Okay. Eventually, officers calm Croy down and get him inside to further talk things out. It doesn't seem like it goes too well by, by the end of this video. So the initial 911 call came from, from one of the couple's four kids who reported that they believe Croy had gotten physical with Kim, but neither parent seems to give that claim any validity. I, I tend to believe the children more than anything. And we have to remember, Kim's kids, her young kids, are very young. And God only knows what they have witnessed over the last year, two years of this relationship. But it's gotten to a whole new level. And I only feel bad for the children. They talk about Kim in this video as well. They said, as for Kim, she's pretty hysterical as well, sitting in her Range Rover as she explains her side of the story, claiming Croy flew into a fit of rage and refused to let her leave the house. She says that she began walking down the street in a robe and asking neighbors for help before returning back home. Kim explains earlier in the day, Croy had asked her to sit and chat about their pending divorce. According to Kim, Croy doesn't want to go forward with it, even though he's the one who filed and Kim wants it to be finalized. Through Kim sobbing, Kim claims Croy is not the man she married and believes he's mentally ill, claiming he's, that she's scared at times to be around him. And to be honest with you, we know Kim has her ways. Based off this video footage, this body cam footage, I have never seen Croy like this, at least not on reality television. 
And I know a lot of you might view like, oh, he has, he's lost it because of her. Like he's become unraveled because of her. I don't know if I want to just put this all on Kim. And also, as you're watching the video, please understand, if this was a black man screaming at police, this whole situation, we would be reporting a completely different story. And it's important to note that because what in the privilege is happening in this video? Again, trigger warning, take a look at what played out. Hey, police. Hi. Come here, Mr. Beerman. Beerman, yes. come, come talk to me. What's going on? It's just a bunch of nonsense. All right, come talk to me. Ma'am, stay right there. <laughs> what, what's going on tonight? We're just having an argument. About what? About our life. Okay, what What happened? What, why, All right, it's why, our why, life. Why? It's destroyed. But, okay, what started the argument? Our inability to solve problems. Okay, or address come, come or over. do anything. Come over here. Why? Because I want to talk to you away from her. I don't want her to start screaming at you and and have a whole it's, argument. It's, it's nothing but an act. It's all a bunch of bullshit. What? What is? Everything she does. Okay. What does she do tonight? Everything. Everything, dude. I, I can't. I'm not going to do this because this right here does nothing but fuel her bullshit. I'm not doing this. This is narcissistic behavior. I'm not doing this. I'm just trying to figure out what the There's nothing to do. You shouldn't even be here. Who there called was, you? Your kids. Who, what kid? You have kids? I don't know. Whoever's in the house. So He's what, been outside what, this whole time. What, 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 what was the argument about? Our life! What, our life! Okay, and it's so destroyed! Why, why is it getting so heated? Because our life is destroyed! What don't you understand? There's no money. There's no house. She wants, we're, we're getting divorced one day and we're not the next. Okay. She's fucking other men. What do you want? Just calm down. Calm down, but I don't have a life. And I don't have somebody who won't listen to me. Calm down. Oh, calm down. What's going on, Mr. I just like, I'm, he's just been screaming at me for like two hours, like a crazy person, like a crazy person. Okay. What What was the argument? Why are we all arguing? Because I just, I just, just want to get a divorce. Like, I just want this to be over. I can't, he couldn't let me leave this morning. The gate, like, is broke or whatever, so you have to, like, manually open it. He jumped in front of my car. I have all these videos. Like, he's blocking me from leaving. He just started yelling at the crib. I have a phone call at 5.30. I can't do this right now. <laughs> Sorry, like, and then I left. I, I got, finally got out of the gate and I was walking in my robe down the street. And I was like yelling for help to my neighbor, like, please, somebody help me. He's screaming, screaming in my ear, grabbing my robe, like the back hoodie of my of my robe. And my robe. I'm meant to be like physically emotionally because I cannot take this any, any longer. <laughs> my kids, he's like, get out of the house. If I go like walk in, he kicks the kids out. And then if I go, if I come outside, he's like, get inside the house. Around 11 I have for that 12 hours. I'm hiding in my car, but he stuck his arm through my window so that the window stopped going up. This morning he did that? No, saying? just now. Like, I'm, I was blocking, putting my window up. I was talking to my son right here, and then he came over and stuck his arm through my window, so the window, is that's why it's down. Otherwise, I would not have my window down with this crazy person. Mm -hmm. This is the only place I feel safe, and if I can get him to calm down, I can try to leave. This is why my car's back, and I never do this. Today, I did this when I got home from my hair appointment. So I can, like... So around 11 a.m. What is he doing? He's Who's yelling. talking to an officer? Oh, he's yelling something. I'm around the corner in the driveway. Stay right there. Right. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna inform you, you're right. We're here for a lawful reason. 
Right. Dude, that's good. It's a domestic violence situation. Right, where the person is outside. Your kids are the ones that call. I need to talk to them. And I can bring them outside. But you no. do not have the authority no. to be in my home. You were going to go stand outside? I don't like the way that Croy is speaking to the police officers that have been called to defuse the situation. And it's it's like he, and look, I don't know their family situation. I don't know the dynamic between Croy and Kim. We know that Kim is not n n innocent in the situation based off what we've seen on, on the show and what we've seen in legal documents. He's accused Kim in their divorce of squandering their entire life savings away. She's put them allegedly in financial ruin because of, of an alleged gambling addiction. This is what he's accused her of. They both are facing multiple lawsuits from creditors and they owe the IRS $1.1 million reportedly. So I can understand where Croy might be at his wits end. God only knows because these two have been together, not together, been together, not together. And I said before, again, we don't know these people. We don't know their lives. I know a lot of us were sort of like, where did this come from? Where did this toxicity come from? And it's hard to believe that this toxicity is all brand new, that this has not come up before. But the amount of times that these two have called the police since they have announced their breakup and their divorce... My thing is, if this stuff was happening before, I feel like we would have seen or heard other symptoms. I think because the money has run out, it has caused a major situation in their marriage and in their relationship. And I don't know if I believe that Kim is the one saying I want to get back with him or he's saying I want to get. I think that they both have played a role in the situation. I don't know which one more than the other, again, because we don't know all the facts because we're not in it. But what I do know is that these two for the sake of those children, need to not live together. I get it. They're in that ho house until they're able to sell it. But they do not need to be... Y'all can't work it out. Please stop trying to... like. Okay, we're going to work on our marriage. No, your marriage is over. Your marriage is over. And for the sake of the children, the children... I can understand Croy maybe being really upset. I can understand Kim being upset. But the, the thing is, the arguing between the two of you are traumatizing your children. And I know there are some of you that have been through similar situations, children of divorce. You probably are triggered by watching some of this because you probably have seen this or worse. And you know better than anyone that the children are better off with these two not being together. That these two figure out a way because they still have to co-parent with one another. This is part of the reason why I really have stopped covering every single story that has come out between Kim and Croy. But after I saw this video footage, how angry Croy was, I don't know if I even believe Kim's, um, you know, crying in, in, in the car. I'm going to keep an open mind, but I don't know if I believe it. Okay? I don't know if I believe it. I do see that Croy is frustrated. He's at his wit's end. But at the same time, Croy... The last thing that you would want is to have, have yourself arrested for being belligerent to the police. Because they could, they really could have. They gave him a lot of grace. They gave him a lot of grace. But you saw the officer inside the home was sort of like, he was at his bottom at, at that point. He was like, sir, we are investigating a domestic call. We need to check on your children. Because apparently you guys are not. You're outside arguing. And these young kids are inside the house probably scared. And I've seen a lot of your comments in regards to this video footage. I feel for the kids. I don't feel for Kim. I don't feel for Croy. You all have made this decision and you made the decision to have children. Now protect your children. The marriage is over. Get into mediation. Figure it out. Pay your bills and move on. Guys, Let's continue this conversation. I would love to hear your thoughts on this video footage that TMZ got from a recent situation that happened at the Beerman home back in November. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. Thanks for watching. You bring the lighter, I got the fuse. You make a fire, I'll ask you. Follow my leading